So today we're going to be doing a unit review on this new tech Fidel that's on Broly's banner, I believe. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. So her leader skill is uh, Dragon Ball Seekers or Earthbred Fighters 3 key and 130% across the board. And she gets 30% attack and defense for one turn while doing supreme damage to an enemy and greatly lowering their attack as well as having a 50% chance of greatly lowering their attack further um, and the name of her super attack is moon salt kick and by the way she came out september 14th of 2024 she's a part two banner unit to the uh, uh, part two lr in broly that which i talked about yesterday so her passive uh dangerous challenge she starts out with 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn very nice and she gets 200 percent attack and defense when performing a super attack obviously very good considering the fact that she's getting 30% attack and defense on her regular super attack effect, as well as her getting 200% attack and defense when performing a super attack inside of her passive. Obviously, that is great. And she is also a tech orb changer. Of course, her randomly chaining key spheres of a certain type 2 tech, of course, excluding tech. So she's a tech orb changer. That is nice. And she has a baseline 30% chance to dodge. And she gets, uh, uh, what else? She gets two key when the character is the, the second to obtain key spheres in a turn and she gets an additional 20 percent attack and defense when the character is the third to obtain key spheres in a turn and she also gives dragon ball seekers or earth red fighters two key and 40 percent attack and defense and she also gets 20 percent damage reduction up to 40 percent with each attack performed that's very easy as a second attacker in the turn of course that's very easy to get that's just two attacks and she also builds up dodge chance from 20 percent up to 40 percent as the third attacker in the turn now immediately out the gate i gotta say the design is pretty pretty clever i'm just gonna be just flat out honest about it so uh this card is definitely going to be either locked to the second or third slot either of which of where you're able to get up to 40 percent damage reduction to the second attacker in the turn as well as having a 30 percent chance to dodge this baseline as well as you uh, being able to build up a 20% uh, chance to dodge up to 40%. So you'll have a 40% on top of your already 30%. So you can get up to a 70% chance to dodge as the third attacker in a turn. So inside the third slot, she can have a 70% chance to dodge. And inside the second slot, she can have a 30% chance to dodge as well as 40% damage reduction. So, I mean, she has two powerful defensive abilities in her kit. So she can have dodge chance and damage reduction as the second attacker in a turn, or you can just have full on a 70% chance to dodge inside the third slot, which is obviously very nice. And preferably, you're most likely going to be having her inside the third slot. And granted, she's supporting, of course, the two categories, that being Dragon Ball Seekers and Earth Red Fighters. More so Earth Red Fighters, that being a way better category than Dragon Ball Seekers. It's still something that she's supporting to, to Dragon Ball Seekers anyways. It's something that you could just say about the card it's good but yeah her being a uh, double support type unit orb changing dodge damage reduction an attack and defensive buff from her passive to her super attack effect as well as her greatly lowering attack as well as getting a chance to greatly lower the enemy's attack further is very good um and her link set which is most i'd say most definitely the weakest thing about this card in fighter cold judgment obviously being a nice link uh courage battlefield diva champion strength money 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 fierce battle um i mean money 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 two key 20 percent defense but like a very bone dry link uh champion strength same thing uh, battlefield diva you can easily get active for that additional five percent chance to dodge it is nice uh courage two key and ten percent attack i mean who really cares about a card like this doing damage uh cold judgment cool in fighter trash link i mean additional attack for her to hit harder who really cares about this card hitting harder the thing that you're using this card for is her utility i mean i'm looking at you broly <laughs> uh, you got broly for mr utility and then you have mrs utility that being videl <laughs> crazy the band unit is utility based as well as broly being utility based it's crazy <laughs> and she's on peppy gals dragon ball seekers movie heroes earth wings defenders of justice bond of parent child and earth bread fighters i would say she's she's a pretty solid option for this matter she's solid she's solid because she has dodge and damage reduction inside the second slot and she has a full-on 70 percent chance to dodge the third slot while orb changing supporting of course dual supporting and uh, getting an attack and defensive buff from a passive or super attack i pretty much already said everything that's good about her um the only issue is that her links her combination of links is very it's very awkward and uh, that's about it would well, that be it yeah 
I mean, she's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories, an okay-ish amount of categories. Um, but yeah, I'd say her biggest issue is her links. Easily. She's all right, she's pretty solid. <laughs> Just a solid uh support type unit. <laughs> um, and her 200 percent leader skills that she is on is uh Kojitas, Roshis, and Yamjas. So she, she's on three 200 percent leader skills. As well as her best linking partner being Int Mai, as well as STR Mai, and of course the T U R to the L R of L R Krillin and Gohan, who badly needs an easy A. So I think that is about it. I have to incorporate more YouTube videos, like of evidence of like what the unit is actually doing in situations like I used to do back then. Don't worry, these unit reviews are gonna get back to being uh, somewhere around the way I used to do it, maybe improved, maybe around the way I used to do it. It's not gonna be low quality, I promise you it's not, uh, because you guys already know my unit reviews are all carried off of commentary. And I mean, would you consider me using like some of the evidence aside of YouTube videos as uh, something that's that makes it better absolutely so yeah don't worry these interviews are going to get better um as time goes on but yeah uh i think that's about it for, for videl videl's solid like that's she's literally just solid <laughs> and funny enough i pulled her and she's i, I used her a couple times she's all right i can't even lie she's all right i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best join the 24 7 discord server link is down below in the description for you guys to join and hey come chat with us about the worldwide down celebration i mean why not uh, I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all again. Peace.